Well, hey there. I'm Axel the Beast, and this is the Curiosity Shop, the Zelda Dungeon Mailbag. I, for once, don't have anything to say other than answering your questions, so oddly enough, I'm jumping right into it. Crazy, huh? Alright, uh, Coolboy169916 asks, when is Zelda Wii coming out? Well, um, there's no date yet, actually. They haven't told us anything. They've claimed that they're going to try to get it out in 2010, but they haven't really um, announced that they are going to yet. They've announced uh, Metroid Other M is going to be in 2010, and I think they announced uh, another game. Maybe it was Super Mario Galaxy 2, I'm not sure. But um, they have not confirmed Zelda Wii, so no, no data yet on that, sadly. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a 2011 release. All right. Virgo Agogo asks, What do you think of motion controls for the Wii in general, and do you think that having them in Zelda Wii will be a pro or a con? Well, overall, I think the controls have been, you know, kind of cool, but a little gimmicky on the Wii in the past. There have been a lot of games where I don't think they did uh, reach their full potential with the motion controls. And um, I've been thinking there's some where they were just outright gimmicky and kind of lame. Um, I think that they are cool, though, so I think you can do a good game good with them. Um, oh god, look at all those party games, so you don't do anything except play silly mini-games. <laughs> That's not what they told us that Wii was going to be about. Seems like these days only it's, it's only really Nintendo uh, making real games with those Wii controls, don't you think? Anyway, um, I think it's, I have a kind of a odd answer to that question, actually. I think it's going to be, it could be either a pro or a con, about 50-50 chance, depending on if they do the game good or if they do it bad. Yeah, it's that, that straightforward for me, I guess. I think that, I have faith for this game. I have a good feeling. I have a really good feeling about Zelda Wii, and I think they'll do it right. I think we're going to get a good game this time, so I think it's going to be good. I think if they execute it poorly, it would be horrible. I just don't think they're going to do that. I guess that's not a 50% chance. That For me, I think it's like a 70-30, maybe. Um, Xenox asks, How about your opinion on whether or not the Light Force in Minish Cap is related to the Triforce and why it only appears in the women of the royal family? Well, I don't think it has any relation to the Triforce. Because the thing is, is if the Light Force was the Triforce, that would mean the Minish are the goddesses. And come on, that's just offensive. That's like sacrilege. You're gonna be, uh, damned to hell or something, or Hyrule's hell. Do you, do you think Majora's the devil like some theorists, me included, think? That you'd be damned to Majora's hell. <laughs> um, uh, as for why it appears only in the women of the royal family, I'd say that, um, that doesn't have a lot of relevance either. Because, um, I see it as an excuse to make Zelda important. A reason why Vati's after, a reason why, you know, she has an importance to the plot. I don't see a lot of importance to it other than that. It's just a reason for Zelda to be important. The line of Zeldas success succeeding each other. Princess Zelda marries the King of Hyrule, becoming Queen Zelda, and has a daughter named Princess Zelda who marries the King of Hyrule, becoming Queen Zelda, who has a daughter named Princess Zelda, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yeah, the succession of the royal family. Doesn't really change. Alright. Uh, Manuel the Cunning asks, Should they remake and enhance the old Zelda games like A Link to the Past and still keep the plot, just make the graphics better? I don't think there's really a need for that. Um, you know... We've been hungering for a really good Zelda experience, so if they made, just remade another, an old game, it probably would be cool. I mean, admittedly, they could do some cool stuff with that, especially with certain games, like A Link to the Past would be wicked. But, um, really it just distracts from trying to add more to the series. I think they should focus on adding more. I'd be, I wouldn't be upset to see a remake of one of the old games, I just think it, I just think they'd be better spending their time doing something new and impressive and fi kind of fixing the series. I think they had some problems in some of the recent games. I think they've made some mistakes. They have great games, way up there, at top, the top of my favorite game list practically. But I think they've made some mistakes, and I think they need to focus on fixing those first before they 
go into remakes. I don't think remakes are so important. They're cool, but not important. Um, K4 King asks, In the world of Wind Waker, there are new races and some old ones, but what is bothering me is that why are there Gorons? There is so much water, yet why are there Gorons in Wind Waker? And how did they survive the Great Flood? Well, I know they're a, a strictly Earth-based race, rolling around on the ground through their little tunnels, eating rocks and bodies made of rocks, and yeah, they basically went out of their way to say, Gorons are Earth people. If you're not, if you didn't get that, you're a moron. <laughs> but, um, I think that realistically, thinking even with that, thinking about it, the, the chances of them surviving and the reasons for them surviving are probably identical to the Hylians who are just as ill-fit for traveling in the water. Um, yeah. Um, it did seem like the Gorons had a bit of a decline, though. There's only three appearing in the whole game, and no one even seems to know much about them. They're like these mysterious men. So I think they kind of gave the feel that the Gorons have suffered more than, like, the Highlands or the Zoras, who became the Rito, apparently. But, um, it, I still think it makes sense they were there. I don't, they, I mean, if the other races didn't get wiped out, why not? Why would they? That's just me. I don't think it's that unusual. Um, JLemon9721 asks, Hey Axel, do you think that they should that there should be a magic meter in Zelda Wii? And do you think this, that the statue in Hyrule Castle and Wind Waker is the Ocarina of Time Link? I think it is. Well, I think that's cheating. You asked two questions there, didn't you? Um, I'll let you go this time. But just this time. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I definitely think it should be a magic meter in Zelda Wii. That was actually kind of a problem I had with Twilight Princess. I, I, I mean, I have a lot of problems with Twilight Princess, even though I think it's a great game. I think it's kind of one of the worst games. Not to offend anyone, I, I'm probably going to get a bunch of flames for that one. Oh, dear. Anyway, um, I definitely think that they should return more to their roots, which I think Twilight Princess, and even Wind Waker to a degree, was kind of deviating from the roots. And I think the roots of the series are some of its strongest points, and I think it would be so brilliant that they brought them, some of them back. And I think I've gone over this in the past, and I probably will go over it again a lot in the future. It's my main thing with the series right now. But yes, Magic Meter, totally. I want it back. Give it back. Seriously. Freaking give it back. I'll, I'll kill Ganon. I'll kill Xant. I'll kill Vati. I'll kill Onyx. I'll kill Varen. I'll kill Twinrova. I'll kill everyone. But I just need a Magic Meter to do it, because it's not fun without the Magic Meter. I need to cast spells, man. I need to cast spells. Um, well, as for the second question... I think that, yes, the statue in the Hyrule Castle in Windmaker is definitely the Hero of Time. The whole game made references to Ocarina of Time. It kept going on about the game. It made some references to A Link to the Past 2, but it really was expanding out the Ocarina of Time story, and I see no reason to think it wasn't the Hero of Time. I think if you're suggesting anything else, it's kind of just conjecture not to be a jerk. Seriously. I just uh, go for your theories, seriously. If your theories are fun. But I think it's definitely the, uh, the Hero of Time. I don't see any reason to suspect otherwise, really. Yeah. And this is the last question, and I think it is my favorite. Smitty asks, Should Nintendo release spin-off 2D Zelda games on WiiWare for the old-school Zelda fan? And if the answer is yes, should these 2D games look more like Legend of Zelda with a tiny story and just an overworld with nine dungeons, or look more like A Link to the Past with a more complex storyline? Oh hell yeah! Oh freaking hell yeah! I think I would I would crap my pants if they did that, and I really hope they do. A lot of companies have been doing that. Me Mega Man Nine on the WiiWare done by Capcom, uh, which was requested by fans for a long time. The new Sonic game I think they were talking about is going to be downloadable. It's going to be a 2D Sonic the Hedgehog game. I mean, seriously, these are things fans have been wanting for a long time, and suddenly companies are listening. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't happen with Zelda, really. Um, they might not be canonical, maybe, or maybe there'd be these odd little side games, but we've had Four Swords, we've had Four Swords Adventures, Link's freaking crossbow training, the Tingle games, for the love of God! Tingle's rosy freaking Rupia Land and Love Balloon Trip, what the... You think that making a bunch of 2D games on the WiiWare is that unlikely after Love Balloon Trip? <laughs> Seriously. If you do, you're crazy. Um... I definitely would love that. As for the other aspect, I don't know which they'd go for. I think both would be wicked cool. I, um, 
I think they could do either, and they might alternate because, you know, the series is always different. They've always had uh, even two different kinds of Zelda games running at the same time, like they do with the console games right now and now with the handheld games, like the, you know, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. I, um, I would love to see that. I think they could do either, and it'd be cool. Right on. All right, that's it for this time. Um, see you later, guys. Don't forget to send uh, uh, me new questions and the email address in the description. Later.